Hey, could you take me to the church downtown, please? Okay, okay. Yeah, because of the mission on this one. Well, we want to make sure that we don't get stopped by the police because we're on the timer. So, for this one, we're going to go ahead and use the governor, which is the L key. And then we'll walk down up to the last hour. And that way, we don't have to worry. We can just go straight there and we won't have to worry about the cops. Now, when you're hauling passengers, you have to be really careful not to bang into stuff. Because if you you know, hit stuff, hit people, or whatever, that little, I fell the mission. I to start over. That's never a good thing. So, you just have to be careful and make sure you avoid. They, they don't care about, oh man, I gotta wait for the bridge. That's another thing, you can't jump the bridge when you're have the passenger, you have to actually wait for it. Uh, but yeah, the uh, passengers don't care about like running stoplights or anything like that. It's just stuff that, you know, just it's just the speeding. I don't even care about speeding. It's if you run into somebody, hit somebody or something, um, they cry about that. Um, <clears throat> but as for the police in this game, um, there's not an escalated police response like you get in like the Grand Theft Auto games. Um, the goal of this game really isn't to, you know, have to shoot cops. You know, it's the cops don't um, don't really do anything. If you get a speedy ticket or whatever, if you just pull over, then they just write you a ticket. And there's no money in this game, so it doesn't actually cost you anything but some time. So unless you're not on a schedule a timetable then there's really no point you might as well just stop Should still have enough time to make it there. <clears throat> Even though I had to wait for the bridge. This you know, first couple missions they're pretty lenient on you know, how much time you actually need for stuff. Okay, drop me off here at the steps. Thanks, here's the fare. Are you taken? I need to go to the hospital and you are. No problem. Another nice thing, um, they don't they don't have GPS in this game. Um, I guess it wasn't invented yet. <laughs> um, funny, it's just a joke. Anyway, but you do have your little uh, dial up here at the top left, and it shows the other cars on the road, so you can have a quick look and see if there's other traffic that you might run into if you turn around a corner or if you're pulling out of a like a parking lot or something like that. Instead of having to like use your left right to look, you can just <coughs> use the little radar thing up in the top left to see if there's cars around there.
Here it is. Drop me off in front of the entrance. Thanks. Here's the fare. I'm lucky you're here. I need to get to the theater on Central Island. Take the Giuliano Bridge so that we can get there quickly. Whatever you want. Kind of funny. There's a graphics glitch right here with this lamp pole it's sitting kind of in the road, and then there's another one down here on the next corner uh, where you turn again. It's just kind of funny that like you remember where to turn based on where the lamp poles are <laughs> in the wrong in the wrong place <laughs> instead of like just memorizing everything. You can just see how the lamp poles are sticking out in the street a little bit right here. This one is actually like. On the road, so you know where to turn for the next. In case you're wondering, I turned off the game uh, background music uh, mostly because when I upload these videos to YouTube it drives about copyright violations and all over the place so that's why there's no background music. I just turned it all off so that I didn't have to worry about that. Here's the money. Goodbye. So if you look Good at day. the Could you take me to radar. Hoboken, the Pompeii bar? Sure thing. Get in. Up in the top left, you can see there's no cars around me, so I'm safe here to make a U-turn without risking running into anybody. I didn't have to look around or nothing. It's just something you can see real easily with the uh, with the little radar thing. Considering that this game came out in 2002, it did really well, you know, I mean, graphically and, you know, playability and stuff was, was right up there. Um, Grand Theft Auto 3 came out about the same time and, you know, I remember having to do the loading screens when you crossed over the bridges from island to island and they didn't, you didn't have to do that in this game. The, the world was, the first seamless world that I played. Kind of made it nice because you can you get more immersed you know you get you have that feeling and you're actually like you know playing the world instead you know whereas in gta 3 you you had these loading screens when you went to the different islands and you kind of had that moment of disconnection which they didn't which you don't get in this game This, game, this car also has a horn that you can use, um, but 
problem with it is that for some reason the people will have a tendency to jump out in front of you instead of jumping away. I don't know why they do that. So I don't use it very much in this one. In Gretha, in uh, Mafia 2, it's actually really useful and I use it quite a bit when I'm like running through because cars and everything open a lot of the way for you, which is really convenient. There you go. Keep the change. I need to get to the department store car lot in Little Italy. Can you take me there? No problem. Get in. Go across the Giuliano Bridge and then through the tunnel. It's the shortest way. Okay, now on this one, right as you start to move forward, there's actually a car in front of you. So if you hit it, he cries. And you don't see it. See that? You don't see it because you're facing the wrong direction. <laughs> but if you bump into that car, then he's like, oh my god, he starts belly aching about being injured. And you don't want to have that because the more they get bumped around, whoa, that guy. The more they get bumped around, the more likely you are to, for them to want the man to get out. And then you'll have to redo that, that mission. This is the last um, pickup when I drop this guy off. Um, a bunch of buddies come, a bunch of guys come and attack me, and then I have to run. That, that's really what solidifies the the, the job role with, with the mafia. I said over the Giuliano Bridge. Don't you know which one that is? I don't know why he complains right there. He does that every time. So it's, I don't think it's so much a game glitch as it is a bad timing, but, you know, we're not even close enough to, to the bridge yet for him to even cry about it. We're headed toward that bridge, so... I think it's just something that they, some bug in the code they never fixed. It's a bit close. driving obviously in this game it's you know both open world and regular I mean you can play the you know you can run around in the open world and do other stuff there's a whole other side of this game that you can do where you just kind of run around in, in the world and you can you know take out other mafia people from the other from, I guess Morello's whoever the other guy is To be honest, I haven't really played that very much. I just you know, play through the missions. You know, I like the storyline and the way it lays out. This should cover it. 
keep the change. I need a coffee break. I had a cup of coffee and relaxed in the car. While I was waiting to see if I could get another customer, I noticed I wasn't far from Salieri's bar. Jesus. We got you, you little rat. Mr. Morello's pretty angry with you. We're gonna have to teach you a little lesson so you remember that it ain't right. <laughs> Those bastards remembered the license plate of my car and took it on themselves to hunt me down. Lou here will fix your face a little. Finish him off. Don't waste any more time on him. Kind of it was fun. clear to me that I had to get out of there fast. I couldn't handle that animal on my own. I said to myself that now was probably the right moment for Mr. Salieri to show his gratitude. Salieri's bar was just down the street, and the sight of it was certainly a lot nicer than a baseball bat to my head. So the health indicator is in the bottom left. You can see it's at 80. I already got shot. I already got hit once. That guy was cowered down right in front of me, so it slowed me down. Um, which is unfortunate. The best you can do is just keep running. Um, you can try to fight back, but you'll lose. I've tried a bunch of different ways. You pretty much just need to run it off as quick as you can. Here's Where the hell is she? I said three o'clock in the passageway. Okay. I think it's funny they got a guy urinating right there. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Those punks broke the window when I went to complain anyway. at their home? I don't hear anybody shooting at me, which is odd. I wonder if they got hung up by that same guy. Because normally I would have people shooting at me this whole time. Well, he said he'd finally have all the things we needed, but maybe you ought to have I'm uh, not complaining. Leave it alone, Marie. I'm warning you, you bastard. I'm warning you. Where is he? He said to meet him at three in the passageway. There on my first try. Salieri's boys saved my skin that time, but I certainly wasn't in a good situation. I had paid off my debts for the car repairs, but my boss didn't want to employ anyone who's in the mob. It just wasn't good business. When I saw the fancy getup of Salieri's boys, I thought that it can't be too bad to work for them. Besides, I had nothing to lose. Morello was out to get me, so driving a cab wasn't the best job. Plus, the prospect of Salieri's dough wasn't so terrible. So like I always say, better to die young and loaded.